is, um, okay, Bruce, what's happening here? This is bespoke uh, dung beetle capturing equipment. Um, really? Yeah. So, so this is high end, yeah, high, high end utility, stuff. really expensive yeah. dung beetle capturing yeah, the business. A, a, a testing program now. And, okay. Uh, yeah, we've uh, just certified all this equipment now. As it's all certi certified, certified. Certified, and yeah. It's ready okay. To go. Yep. Excellent. So what do we have here? We have... We have uh, tea tail buckets. Yes. And we have a shovel. Very important tool. Very important. It's not shiny yeah. as you can see. Not shiny, it's yeah. well used. <laughs> and, and wire mesh. Wire mesh, which and I'm assuming is going to do something like right. that. Yes. Yep. And then a huge box of straw. A box of straw, all the way from Wexford. Some so Wexford back down straw. To back down what? To Carlo. So it's been from sure, yeah. Wexford. Sure, Carlo, up to Leash, and back down Kilkenny. Well traveled straw. Well traveled straw, yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go out in the field. Look for some beetles. And look for some beetles. You get to carry the heavy stuff. I'm heavy carrying stuff, the light stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so where are we going to plant our. Um, dung beetle door dung beetle traps okay so what we're going to do is yeah we're taking into account wind direction which is coming seems to be coming this, this way. way okay so we're at the moment to, we're going to go with a line of traps um perpendicular to the wind direction so across the wave of wind yes and this creates a, a, a lovely wave of poo smell lots of poo smell poo smell in, in a wave like that that attracts in the beetles yes and they fly uh transverse across the wind direction so they go back and forth across the wind yeah. sniffing out the, sniffing out the good, lovely good and um, the good shit yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they come in on, on the uh, one of the traps here and so we're gonna do a line of traps down here yeah correct okay, okay. perfect well I get to watch you dig no, your I, first hole I brought you the shovel I'll hold the steel here yeah and right yeah right <laughs> a certain time have arrived just in time to help lay out the dung beetle trap row and Bruce is looking to see which wind direction we're going to have over the next few days and Pepper is helping him very diligently while the dogs are having a game of tag. Okay, so what are you doing now? We're um, drawing out a line to make... Um, Make our our, uh, our dung beetle our line dung of traps. Wave, poo wave. The poo wave. The poo wave. We call it. And you're putting them how many meters apart? So about two two meters. Well, I have short legs, so it's probably one point eight meters. One point eight meters on your short legs. Yeah. Your legs are longer than mine. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> so right towards the walnut tree. You can take the ones near the walnut tree. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, giving me the hard ones next to the roots. That's just what I need. Ah, Bruce! I thought you'd be further along than just two holes. Me going and getting the fork for the manure. And you're only a hole and a half through. Look at that! digging. That's not like the nice peaty leaf soil we have. Hey, that's beautiful looking soil. It is. It's Don't be fair. cruel about my soil. <laughs> There's plenty of daffodils anyway. Yeah, you're getting a lot of the bulbs yeah, out, huh? Yeah. Sure they won't mind the movement. It'll be good for them. And look at those are my ash tree roots. Nice and solid near the surface. Okay, I'll go get some manure as you dig that line of beautiful holes. <laughs> You're much quieter now that you're digging. Yeah, aren't I? <laughs> I have to concentrate. <laughs> you know, it's men two things at once. <laughs> it's too much. It is, yeah. Ah. So, and then you put fill around the edges? Fill around the edges, yeah. So basically it's just a capture. So that they don't dig under the bucket? Yeah, well, we want to, we want to get them into it. Yeah. yeah. So that's... That's what we're trying to achieve here. And they're quite strong. They are strong. When I have yeah. them in my hand, you can feel the yeah. power of their hind legs. A thousand times the wrong way to lift. Something serious. Something serious, yeah. exactly. Okay, I'm going to go and get horse manure. Okay. 
first load of fresh manure. I'm assuming the straw goes into the bucket, does it? It goes, it's a bit of boat. Some of it goes into it. Yeah. Just to prevent them trying to take flight when they're, when they've dropped into it. Okay. Because they're like a solid surface to fly off of. So you can imagine if there's bits of straw sticking up. They can't, they can't yeah, lift because yeah. they're such heavy fellas. They are, yeah. They're not, they're not the best of flyers. Yeah, that's why they sound huge. When, in the evening around here, sometimes you're walking along and they really bumble along. And I mean, I've occasionally had them get stuck in my hair. You would, yeah. Down in um, Tasmania, the particular beetle that we're trying to catch here. Down in Tasmania, in, yeah. Australia. Yeah, they colloquially call the beetle that we're going to catch, hopefully. Yeah. Colloquially call it the blue bomber. The blue bomber? Yep. Because of uh, the underside of them, yeah, has an, kind of an a glossy blue. Correct. Yeah, it's like and an oil slick. Then the noise off them, they sound like an old bomber. Yeah. Flying along, so that's why they call it the blue bomber. Okay, when you're done that, start do the straw set, bit up here, yeah, yeah, and perfect. I can start do manuring behind you. Perfect. I'll do the easy job, you do know. The easy job. Do the glamorous job. Absolutely, I'll do the glamorous job of picking up the horse shit, the beautiful <laughs> horse shit, to put on top to seduce the dung beetles. I'm into yeah. dung beetle seduction, you see. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs>